Well, I just blew up my PIP inverter. Let's see what happened. So, uh, I just have these covers off here. And it's not very nice in there, but uh, anyway, uh, I was running completely off grid uh, for about a day. Um, this is my protected loads panel right here and my main panel. And so what I was doing is I had my main breaker off. I was uh, feeding power back into the main panel and the power goes back into this breaker right here. What I did recently was I added this breaker and this goes out to my garage sub panel and I did not label them, which I apparently really should have. Um, so I turned this breaker off and then I turned the main on and it was the wrong breaker. So I backfed uh, my protected loads panel, which went back through my transformer, which went back through my PIP. And there were a couple few loud bangs and flashes and a little bit of smoke. And uh, yeah, that was not fun. So I'm gonna open this up and see what happened. Uh, and then I'm gonna get a new inverter, apparently. All right, well, I got the cover off here and I can't see any crazy burn marks or anything. I think I'm gonna to have to open it up a little bit more here. Uh, actually, I do see, oh yeah, there they are. Right down in there. There, you can see it right down in there. Uh, right behind that heat sink, probably some MOSFETs back there, I would guess. Um, and you see there's some scorch marks on the capacitor there. So yeah, this thing is not getting turned on again, I think. Definitely not in the basement. Well, there we are. I've gotten a few pieces taken out here. And you can see those two MOSFETs are kind of uh, a little bit blown apart there. Um, they shot out this way, so that was probably the two bangs I heard. I, I can't remember if it was two or three. It was kind of an exciting moment. Um, I'm not sure if anything else is cooked, though. So it may be that I can just replace those and uh, we'll be all set, but I don't know. Let's dig in some more. So digging deeper in here, uh, I see the top MOSFET, then the second one looks like it may be okay. And then the third and fourth are definitely blown apart. Uh, so that was the three bangs I heard. Lovely. And just to show you guys what I was pulling out of here, um, this was right on the front. Uh, and I believe this is the charge controller. This is where the PV hooks up into. Um, not a lot there, but uh, that came off. Everything on here looks fine. Uh, I would assume that was somehow isolated from uh, the incident. Uh, this is another board I pulled out here. Um, again, I, I don't really know what this is here, but um, it does not look like anything blew up on it. So, fairly promising. I still may use this as an excuse to get a new inverter, but we'll see. All right, guys, so I'm gonna leave this here for now. Uh, you know, the, the bottom line is when you're doing anything like this, put in fail safes, put in interlocks, do everything you can to protect yourself. I mean, I, I do this stuff for a living. I'm, a, I'm an electrician, you know, I, 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 I'm around this stuff all the time and stuff happens so make sure everything's labeled make sure you can't screw up uh because if you can you will uh so yeah let that be a lesson uh to me and you uh and good luck and be safe out there and one last thing i wanted to note here is that everything i did all the breakers all the wires everything was sized properly so you know things shorted out all the breakers tripped i mean all three of them i have I have a 60 amp breaker here uh, over in this panel right there. I have a 30 amp breaker that's my battery feed. I have my 100 amp breaker even tripped, uh, everything tripped. So it was definitely a, a pretty bad short, um, but everything tripped, everything shut off like it was supposed to. Uh, nothing caught on fire. Um, so, I, you know, I guess I consider myself lucky, lucky. It was only, you know, a few MOSFETs blown and that's that, so. Yeah.